Hey guys, Mike Venezia here from Taylor Guitars, hanging out at In Stuff Music today to tell you a little bit about our new V-Class bracing. Now, for over 150 years, most acoustic guitar makers have been using the X-brace pattern to make their acoustic guitars. And that would take place right about here. But the sound of an X-brace guitar, while it's been good, and actually we've maximized it to where it's been award-winning, the inherent reality is with X bracing, there's a compromise between volume and sustain. You can't add more of one without removing some of the other. So essentially, for volume, you need to have flexibility. For sustain, you need rigidity. And those two are obviously working in polar opposites to one another. On an X brace guitar, that's where that compromise comes in. Again, you can't add more of one without taking away from the other. But what Andy Powers, our master guitar designer at Taylor Guitars has done, has created a bracing system known as V-Class bracing. And that's designed to remove that compromise between volume and sustain. So how is this achieved? Well, essentially, if we take the V-Class bracing, it runs down the guitar like so, in a V pattern. And what that's doing is that's providing stability down the center line of the instrument while allowing for minimally braced sides that tend to rock back and forth over that center line like a teeter-totter or a seesaw. And what that does is that outputs notes in a more orderly fashion. So a few things come out of this. Because there's stability down the center line of the instrument, we are increasing our sustain. But by increasing the flexibility on the sides with that rocking motion, you're getting volume. So in essence, every note along the entire fingerboard has its own power and its own sustain. It rings out longer. And all these new notes ring out truer as well. well. Talk about that in a minute. But essentially, just to demonstrate that volume versus sustain compromise that's been lifted, uh, we need to look at some of the weaker spots on a guitar. One of the most notorious weak spots is the E on the G string at the ninth fret. Now, notoriously, this note is very, very weak on most guitars, and it tends to be a little bit quieter and doesn't really ring out all that well. However, on a V-Class guitar, it will ring, and it'll ring longer and louder. And still going, I actually still feel it up against my body. I'll play for you one more time, and if you can hear it through your speakers at home, you'll hear an initial note and then a swell that comes afterwards. Again, that note has its own power and it rings out longer. And this is true up and down the entire fingerboard. So when you're playing chords, whether they be intricate or whether they be fully formed uh, down in the, you know, down in the, the what we call the, uh, the cash, cash register version of the neck, uh, it's all gonna ring out powerfully and strong. Um, some of those really light and delicate chords that you wouldn't necessarily think of playing. Uh, you can play an E up, up in the ninth position like, like so. And everything rings out very clearly. It's very bell-like. Well, let's take it all the way up to the G if you wanted to do a G chord in that same chord fashion. Every note is ringing out very balanced for a long period of time. I actually stopped it before it stopped ringing. Um, but these notes can ring out a lot longer. So if you're somebody who's doing a lot of recording, you'll find yourself actually playing less. You don't need to beat on the guitar nearly as much. You're gonna want that, uh, those notes to kind of ring out a bit more and give it a full, um, its full value as you're recording. Um, also, for somebody who's just accompanying somebody else, you're actually able to fill the notes, fill the void, uh, created uh, in between the vocalist lines just by holding a note longer and creating different sonic, sonic landscapes, if you will. But here's another side of it. Because we have that volume and sustained balance and that rocking motion outputting notes in an orderly fashion, there's something else, there, it was something that Andy Powers had discovered when he was creating this, and that was that this rocking motion Outputting notes in an orderly fashion creates a better sense of intuneness. So actually the guitar is better intonated. Now people say, how does bracing fix intonation? It's not that it fixes it, it's just that the way the notes come out of the guitar are more orderly, therefore you're not hearing all the harmonic overtones 
that the X-Brace guitar would put out. So a great way to explain this is uh, if you're at a concert and there's 20,000 people in the audience and the song ends, the band finishes the song and everybody starts applauding, right? Everybody's applauding all at once, 20,000 people creating their own notes, okay? That's sort of how notes are coming out of an X-Brace guitar. But if the next song, the singer says, hey, let's everybody clap together along with the kick drum, right? You get 20,000 people that are clapping together in unison. So it's a more orderly fashioning of the notes. And because of that, you're getting a more um, musical, rhythmic kind of sound. That's what's happening on a V-braced guitar. Those notes are coming out in a more orderly fashion, so you're not getting that beating or warbling that you would normally get in between. Now, um, an easy way to kind of explain this is, uh, I'm sure that some of you have done recording before, and as you've been recording, you tune the guitar so that the G chord sounds great. But then you play the D chord and it doesn't sound really quite as good, and you almost have to retune to make that work. And never mind if you played the octave D above the 12th fret. Well, with a V-class guitar, that doesn't happen now. Everything stays tight and in tune. And when I use the word tight, I'm not talking about compressed. It's not like that. It's just tighter tuning to sound more in tune. The in tuneness across the entire instrument is better. Now, people say, well, don't you have to change the saddle for that? Don't you have to change the scale for that? No, that's actually called compensation. That's only one part of the equation. It's the harmonic overtones that make up the other part of intonation. So here I'm gonna play the D chord in our standard second position, okay? And if you notice, I hit that open D as well, right? Right down here. Everything sounds really in tune. But when we come all the way up here, that would be a little bit more sour. However, on a V brace guitar, You don't have that warbling or beating of the notes in between one another or working against each other. So that's that enhanced in tuneness or enhanced intonation that you get with a V-class brace guitar. Uh, another example of things that we do as musicians, uh, specifically as guitarists, when we play the uh, play the G chord, we were taught initially from you know Mel Bay Book One to play that G chord much like this, right? You have your your index finger on the B and you let the open B on the second string kind of ring out. And we would play that and it would never sound quite right. So over time, what we did is we sort of changed it to where we would sort of half mute that B string down, uh, the, the B down here on the fifth string and we would add a D on the B string and make this chord instead to make a more in tune G string but with V-class bracing, we can go back to our roots and actually play that true G chord and have those Bs put back in there because you're not getting the beating of the notes in between. So, removing that volume and sustained compromise and having uh, enhanced in tuneness or enhanced intonation, that's really the, the, the big difference that you're gonna find in a V-class braced guitar. Um, I encourage all of you to come on down to Win Stuff Music and try one out. They're kind of hard to get, so make sure you check one out as soon as you can. And if you find one that you like, take it home with you because it's going to be tough to find one for the next few months for sure. Uh, if you have any questions, give these guys a call. They're all educated on this stuff. Again, thanks for watching. Bye, Taylor.